All right, we are headed this time to Nashville, Tennessee. Nash Vegas. Nash Vegas, baby. We're actually driving through Knoxville right now, funny enough. So we're back here for like the fourth time or for <laughs> however long. Um, but we're on our way to Nashville. Um, so we are on the last leg of the 2023 Lauren Concert Tour. <laughs> It started um, back in uh, what it was? It started in May. In May with, with Tyler Childers. Tyler Childers. That man is At, the godsend of like bluegrass, folk, Appalachian music, and I was lucky enough to get face value tickets. Yeah, great, great experience. And then it continued to Post Malone Woo! in July. And then it continued from there to Nickelback last month. Yeah. And then Jonas Brothers last month. And now we are ending 2023's concert tour with Queen yes. in Nashville. Yes. Um, ending with a bang for sure. Yep. And then she's already got the beginning of 2024 planned. We've already bought tickets to um, Noah Khan in Asheville for May. So that's still a ways off, but yeah, this is the last leg on Lauren's concert tour of this year. Um, if you can't tell, I'm a big concert junkie. Yeah, that's that's her thing. That's so I, my thing. I do the the board games and stuff, and she does that. Um, speaking of which, I am going on a couple of board game trips here in the next couple months. So stay tuned for those videos coming. I'm going probably to Mythicon in Charlotte. I have my big gaming retreat with my friends the following week, and then a couple of weeks later, I might be going to pack some plugged in Philadelphia. We're uh, that one's still up in the air, but I've got a few here on the horizon. Um, and then we're also still trying to sell our house. That video will hopefully be up soon-ish. Um, we put a lot of work into that one. Um, that actually is probably going to be our biggest project here on the channel for probably 2023, assuming we get it up this year. But yeah, so we're, anyway, we're on our way to Nashville. Um, we both work today. She picked me up at my job, and then we are driving straight there. Um, we're going to go out tonight um, to uh, Broadway, Broadway uh, go a little bit of bar hopping, go get some food. I'm going to listen to some honky-tonk music. Some, some honky-tonk music. Listen, me nor Corey are honky-tonk kind of people. We're nope. just not. I this am the furthest. Up is the furthest from this normal get up. And I'm the furthest human you know from Honky Tonk. We're going to get into a persona and we're going to live our Honky Tonk dream in Nash Vegas. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> then tomorrow we have, I'm not even going to run through it. We'll talk about it tomorrow, uh, but we've got tons of plans tomorrow, but tomorrow night is the concert and then we've pretty much just got tonight and tomorrow because Thursday is driving all day, so so it's really just a one night and one whole day worth of a trip this time. So this one will be a little bit shorter. But jam-packed. But jam-packed. Literally go, go, go from now. now to then. So let's go. Alright, so we're headed to breakfast. Uh, we are going to a cereal bar, which is, if you've ever been to one of those like uh, frozen yogurt type places, I guess where it's like the machines, you can mix and match everything, get toppings. It's kind of like that, I guess. I don't know. She she found it. She found everything. <laughs> she found everything. Um, yeah, last night we went to Broadway. Fun. 
Um, we went to quite a few of the bars. Um, Corey got targeted by, by the stamps. You can't really see it anymore. I took a shower this morning, but they didn't completely wash off. I have like six or seven stamps on my hand. One of them was in a competition with um, the bartender saying that uh, they weren't stamping people enough. So he was like, all right, bet. So then he, he just stamped, stamped me stamped like Corey crazy and like stamped him three different times. And then he even went, asked me, he was like, can I stamp you again? <laughs> And then we went to another bar, and he goes to stamp Corey's hand, and he pauses, and he is like, God dang, how many bars have you been to? Yep. And it was... It was well, crazy. then that guy stamped me twice. Yeah. But yeah, so my hand was covered. So for anybody who's never been to Nashville and doesn't know, obviously it's, you know, big music city, um, specifically country music. But honestly, I think I heard more rock than country last there's night. There's a lot of rock covers. Yeah. Um, but literally um, on Broadway, there's... 40 bars oh, probably, more than, probably that. more than that 50 bars every single one of them has live music every night of the week there's not a single night they take off every night of the week they have live music um most of them um have like street access to their music where like the people are performing on stage but then like the windows behind them are open so that you can uh like look into and like walking down the street hear the music um i got a good clip that you probably saw of a couple people rocking out with the uh, in the window with somebody. <laughs> Me and Lauren thought it was kind of funny because, like, the guy that was, like, rocking out in the window wasn't even the lead guitarist. He was the bass player. <laughs> so I told Lauren, I was like, that guy was probably relishing that because nobody ever gives the bass guys love. <laughs> it's always, like, the guitarist. Nobody ever gives the bass love. But that was fun. So we're going to breakfast now at the cereal bar. Um, and then we are going to the, um, they've got a, like, replica Parthenon, like the Greek Parthenon here in Nashville. Kind of like how Vegas has the pyramid. It's, you know, similar as to that whole idea. Um, we're going there, and then we're going to walk around some of the, like, shopping areas. Um, and that's kind of our plan for the morning. Let's get to it. breakfast which was interesting Multiple. to go to a restaurant and eat cereal uh, but then uh, we went to the um, replica Parthenon um, which was fun uh, really cool um, I know you were shocked by how big it was it was insane it was, still blows my mind that the little statue that she had on her hand was 6'4 and it looked like a little miniature yep. like thing. taller than both of us yeah it's just the thing that she was holding yeah um, and then we actually drove out to Franklin, Tennessee, which is about 30 minutes out of town, um, to go watch the Ramsey Show live, which, uh, if you don't know what it is, it's essentially a uh, finance show that's been on for years and years. Um, I'm a big finance nerd, real estate nerd, um, so I listened to it. Um, so we went out and watched it live. I really enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Lauren enjoyed it more than she thought she would. I like the the environment of seeing like a live show. I've never yeah. experienced live, live studio music. audience. Right. <laughs> like I've been to concerts, obviously, but I've never seen like a show recording, and it was just it was neat to see. Right, the but employees were all so nice. Yeah, I'm they, sure they have great protocols and stuff. But every single one of them was like, "What is your name? Where are you from?" Like they were very attentive. And yeah, very so nice. that was extremely enjoyable, and I really liked it. And it was also kind of spur of the moment. Um, like, I knew where their offices was 
coming out here, and I knew I would like to go, but I didn't think Lauren would enjoy it, so I didn't bring it up. We were talking about our day, and we kind of had a little gap where we thought we could go do something. I was like, well, hey, I know what I could do. Um, so we went out there. Um, now we are headed to the um, Op- Opryland Hotel. Yeah, the Opryland Hotel, which is essentially where the uh, Grand Ole Opry, I know a lot of you probably know what that is at least. If you don't know a ton about Nashville, you probably at least know what the Grand Ole Opry is. Um, well, the hotel is there, and they've got all kinds of stuff you can, you know, kind of museum-ish type, I guess is the best way to put it. And then there's also tons of shops and stuff. Then we're going to go eat at the Rainforest Cafe which we're excited about. I haven't been since I was a kid, and I honestly don't even remember going when I was a kid. And then there's a huge mall there we're going to go walk around. So that's our plan for that. Then we're going to make our way back to um, Broadway Street. Um, That way we can um, walk around and just hang out until the concert starts, go to the concert, and that'll be the day. Let's go. is done i'm exhausted yeah it's yeah, we've been all day um god i don't even remember what the last time we told them was uh we saw the parthenon yeah, we were we, going to the mall we went or, to the ramsey yeah. show um go to the hotel yeah we went to the uh grand Ole opry hotel um here are the boats there is literally a essentially a rainforest inside of this hotel <laughs> There's waterfalls and trees and a river, and we rode a boat in a hotel. Yep, blew his mind. Not normal. <laughs> um, there's tons of shopping. Yeah. I have a feeling one night stay there is like $10,000 just looking at the place. It's, it's insane. It's bougie. It'd be bougie. Um, we're going to stay there one day. 
yeah. but <laughs> it was really nice. It was fun. Um, and then we went to the big mall um, and walked around a little bit. And then we went to the Rainforest Cafe. The Rainforest Cafe is an experience. It is fun. It is nice. This one has seen better days. It, it has seen better days, and it is also definitely more geared. I feel like it's better if you have kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, just for us to go, it's like one and done. I don't regret yeah. going, but it, you know, probably... It was kind of the over thing. The food wasn't great. Yeah, food wasn't great. The service wasn't great. Nah, it's fun. I just think, it's like, it's not that it was bad. I don't regret going. It's just one and done. Yeah. I'm, I, I don't need to go back. It was Walked good. Walked around the corner, saw that there was a cheesecake factory we could Yeah, we could have ate that, which would have been great, but it's fun. Um, yeah, and then we went back, and we went to the Queen concert. She got a t-shirt. <laughs> It was um, the best concert of my life, and that's saying a lot because yeah. I have been to a lot. It is your I, favorite concert. And I'm a concert junkie, and I will put my hand on the Bible and say it's my favorite concert. Your favorite concert. Interesting. It was amazing. It was really good. It was really good. Um, there, was a, there was a few too many guitar solos for me, which I think is funny because, you know, it's a rock concert. Uh, but just a few too many guitar solos for me, but I did enjoy it. Um, Adam Lambert's vocals. Insane. Like, His all, name, not yeah. even on this earth. Yep. Like, And then Brian insane. May is one of the best guitarists of all time. It was, it and was, then just the atmosphere. They that, put on a good production. Like, the they whole, did. like, the lighting, the sound. The sound was great. This is the first time we've been to the Bridgestone Arena, and the yeah. sound, like, the audio uh, was great. Roger singing I'm in Love With My Car, mm-hmm. like, made my night, because I thought it was so funny. Um, we sat on the very last literally row. Literally the last row. Our backs were against the wall. When I bought these tickets, they were expensive. Very expensive. And I did not realize we were on the last row. So here we go. Literally the last row. Trying to find row S, and I keep walking. So there's three levels. So like there's a ground floor, and then a balcony, and then another balcony. So we're on the very top balcony. And then we just keep climbing the stairs and climbing the stairs, and we look up. I keep trying to find row S, and I keep going and keep going and hit the wall and realize, oh, we're at row S. Literally the last row. (laughs) But it was still good. It was good. Um, I do wish that some of the, like, scaffolding was a little bit different place because we couldn't see the screen great. We could see see all the stage. Seeing the stage was fine. I saw the entire stage. I didn't miss out on nothing. But we couldn't see the screens great, which for people in the back, the screens are very helpful. Yeah. Um, But overall, extremely good. Then we went back to Broadway way and walked around went to a couple Bruce bars Tyler. and just hung out uh walked around downtown a little bit uh, walked by the uh, country music hall of fame we did we saw the saddest thing uh there was a girl that decided to pour alcohol all over this cop while he mm-hmm. was trying to direct traffic because they shut half of broadway down when bridgestone yeah. lets out and i mean he was just like telling the person to go and here she is just like yeah, she was she was going him. by in a car and out her window just it <laughs> was awful it was awful, but oh, overall, we got to see really cool things too. We got yeah. to see two pythons again. I don't want to talk about <laughs> it. They, all right, there's these crazy people. I'm gonna say crazy people because I don't understand it. I don't understand it. They literally have these giant like python. Are they pythons? Yeah. Giant pythons, two of them a yellow that one are and like, like a brown one. the size of your body. They're like six feet long. They probably weigh a hundred plus pounds. Yeah. They're huge, and they're just standing on the side of the road with them, and I can't figure out why. And they were there both nights. There's no, like, tip jar. Maybe people are paying them to get pictures, but they're not trying to get people to come over. They're just they're standing, just there. standing there. I don't like, I, I don't get it. Hey, look at me. I have a cool snake. I have snakes, yeah. and they're terrifying, and I don't appreciate it because yeah. <laughs> I hate snakes. Yeah, that happened. Okay, so Nashville in the books. It was fun. We head out tomorrow morning. We have to leave early because we have to be... We have to be at the doggy daycare to pick up Mia at a certain time, and then we also have to be somewhere after that at a certain time because we're helping with a Halloween kids thing trunk after or that. Treat. Yeah, trunk or treat essentially. We're helping. We're helping with that, so we gotta get there. And then we're also still trying to sell our house. We had a showing of our house while we were down here, and then tomorrow morning we just got the alert like an hour ago. We have another showing of our house. And we have an open house coming this Sunday. I promise you guys, the the selling of our house video is coming. We just have to get someone to buy it. <laughs> we're having showings. We're doing stuff. I mean, I'm not worried we're going to sell it. It's just a matter of when. Like, I'm not concerned. It's going to happen. And we, we're just impatient and want it to happen now. But yeah, all right. Nashville in the books. It was fun. Thank you guys for watching. 
hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you know when all my videos are coming. I try to get them out on a consistent basis, but obviously they're very dependent upon when I get to go and do things. Thankfully, we've been a little busy here lately, so I've got to knock some things out um, in succession, so we've got more videos coming right now. And then going into the holiday season, I've got quite a few videos that we're going to be doing. So going through the rest of the year, I think we're going to have quite a consistent you know, period of videos coming out. So ring the bell so that you get alerted when they come out. Seriously, subscribing, liking, all that stuff it really helps us out. But we're having a great time with this. But thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye! Adios. I'm <laughs>